What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about some of the stuff that I use for scent control. Now my opinion on scent control is it's important but it's not the most important thing. Um, there's absolutely no way you're going to beat a deer's nose. There's no product out there that is going to 100% guarantee a deer is not going to smell you. And if there is a company pushing that, they're lying. Deer sense of smell is like a thousand times greater than a dog and there's been so many tests on it you're just not going to beat a deer's nose but whenever you're hunting i think the most important thing to consider is the wind and your thermals you really need to learn those and hunt based off of those and now sometimes the wind doesn't always do what the weatherman's saying so that's where i like to take these precautions because i know i'm not going to necessarily beat the deer's nose but if I could just slow them up from catching on to what's going on enough to where that may, that couple of seconds may determine whether or not you get a shot off at your target buck or not. Um, all these products that I got are super cost effective. I haven't spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on ozone units or anything like that. Um, I just kind of wanted to break this down for you because I know there's a lot of information out there, people pushing these super expensive ozone units and stuff. I, this is just a simple setup. It's worked really good for me. Do I get winded sometimes throughout the year? Absolutely, when my wind's blowing bad. But does it happen all the time? No, I hunt almost every day of the season. I'm blessed to be able to do that. And I probably get busted from being winded five to 10 times a year, maybe at max. Um, but it's going to happen regardless, but we'll dive into it. So one thing I really like to do is I like to keep all my clothes in one place. Um, I have this big tote. I got it from Academy a few years ago, but there's hundreds of totes on Amazon that work perfect for this that I can link down below of some good options. But what I do like this is I just keep my clothes in one place. And when I get back to the house, I throw them in here, um, take the tote with me and throw it in my truck and I get dressed um, at my location before I get in the stand. Now one thing I do after every single hunt whenever I get back home is I have a hole drilled in the top up here and uh, I just get my clothes and I throw them in there when I get home and this has probably been one of my favorite things that I have found is this little ozone unit. I got it on Amazon. It was like 40 bucks. It has thousands and thousands of reviews. Works fantastic. And uh, I'm going to be honest, I was a skeptic of ozone um, when I bought this, but it was 40 bucks. I was like, it's worth the risk. Let's see if it works. So I got it in and I have some LL Bean Boots. And if any of y'all have uh, Bean Boots, they get pretty stinky. So uh, I decided to put them in this tote and test it out and I just ran a 10 minute cycle and I swear to you I'm not endorsed by any of this any of these products down here but uh you could not smell the stink in the boots anymore after I ran the ozone unit I even got my wife and it took me about five minutes to convince her to smell them but when she did we were both kind of convinced on it so all I do is I got this hole drilled in the top I get home and I just run on a quick five minute cycle. I just knock any scents that I picked up, maybe like if I ended up getting in my truck with it or I stopped by the gas station afterwards, you know, something where I just couldn't change my clothes or I didn't usually I like to change, but, or if I was, it was a little warmer, I was sweating walking to the stand, you know, I'm just getting some of my odor on there. This ozone will really knock it out. And, uh, I don't go too crazy with it, but I do like to do it every time I get out of the stand. Now, two products that I have found that I really like. Hunting a lot, it is super important to me to have a quality um, shampoo and body wash. I mean, I'm sure some of y'all know the other hunting products out there. It makes you feel super dry and your hair feels like nasty afterwards. But I came across this company, Southern Racks, and they have this three-in-one uh, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. And I gotta tell you, this stuff's legit. Um, I actually shower in it a lot of times just throughout the year. And uh, it's super high quality stuff, makes your hair feel good. I don't have much left, so I don't have to really worry about it. But another thing that I've always struggled to find is I always use those hunting brand deodorants. 
and they're absolutely horrible. They either go on like glue, or they don't last, or they get all over your clothes and stuff. Um, so my wife and I are both like, we try to look for as many products or chemical free or just as natural as possible and good. And one of these that we came across is this Tom's unscented deodorant. It's a, uh, it's kind of like a gel deodorant. Um, but I gotta say, both of us agree that this is the best unscented deodorant that we've used. It actually lasts a long time. Um, it keeps the body odor away for a long time and it goes on really well and it feels really good. And then the other thing that I have found is there is no sense in spending a ton of money buying these scent company um, laundry detergents and the little tiny bottles for 30, 40, 50 dollars claiming that they're gonna kill all the scent and all that. That's just crazy. We got this huge thing. It says 166 loads. Free and clear, 100% perfume and dye free. And we got this on the Sam's on sale for how much, Hannah? Fifteen. $15 for this huge thing. That's gonna last me literally years of washing my camo. And uh, we just throw it in there. I wash my camo three times a year. Um, if I get it bloody, I'll wash it some other times, but usually I wash it the start of the season, hang them up, hit them in the ozone, and then I'll run it for a while like that. If I'm hunting super hard and I need to wash it, I'll usually get another wash mid-season, and then I'll wash it at the end of the year, wrapping it up. Um, and like I said, if I get it bloody or whatnot, I will... Uh, um, throw it in there a few more times but we actually use this stuff just as our everyday um, clothing and it just keeps everything scent free I like to keep my normal clothes scent free I don't want to get a lot of perfumes all over me and uh, as far as in the dryer we use we don't use the dryer sheets but we have all natural dryer balls I can throw a link down in the description of that as well all this stuff including the ozone unit um, laundry detergent I'll throw links down below so you can find it but the dryer balls work great um, and the dryer balls are really good at uh, creating no static so they work really good on your high quality camo or if you're using expensive stuff it's all high quality stuff but this is kind of just a setup, a uh, quick, short, sweet little video. If you have any questions about it, just let me know. All I did to make this tote was just drill a hole in the top right here. Super simple. This isn't airtight by any means or anything, but it works really good. It's big enough to hold me and my wife's both of our camo throughout the year. It has wheels on it. Um, really recommend all these products. Don't believe the stuff out there that says that if you use this, the deer are never gonna smell you, or you're gonna jam their nose or something like that. It's just not gonna happen. Deer are incredible creatures, especially when you're hunting these big deer that didn't get that big and that old for being dumb. But some of these things, like I said, may just uh, confuse them just for a second or they may not catch on to you as quick if the conditions happen to switch on you and it's just not working out. So this is what I use. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments down below. I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe.